Alrighty folks, I've got quite the exclusive video here for you today. I've got some early footage of the new operation for Black Ops 4, which is going to be called Grand Heist, the new 1.13 title update, which is absolutely filled to the brim with brand new content, and it's exactly what we've been needing for this game. But before we get into the nitty gritty of the video, I just need to say that I was flown out to Treyarch Studios in LA, and my accommodation was covered by Activision while I was out there, but I'm under no obligations to give you any specific opinions etc. These are all my genuine feelings towards the new content and in this video you'll be seeing two of the brand new weapons in this operation. The SMG which is called the Switchblade X9, quite a cool name if I do say so myself and later on I'll show you a bit of the Rampage shotgun which I can already tell some people are going to be comparing to our old friend the Brecci so stay tuned for that. You'll also notice a couple of the new maps. Firstly, this map is Lockup, which is a police station. And then we'll be jumping over to Casino, which is a snowy mountain range kind of map. No, I'm just kidding. It's a, it's a casino, <laughs> of course. But let's just see what sort of gameplay I've got for you today. Now, I have to, I have to actually make another disclaimer that <laughs> for the majority of these games, I was up against... Actually, check out that. I was going to give myself some excuses there about the gameplay, but that was quite a nice wee manoeuvre there. But uh, yeah, for the majority of these games, I was up against uh, Korean Savage and Dismal, two absolute Call of Duty demons, as I'm sure you'll know. So, you know, I was really up against it. It was a tough competition, but I think I held my own against them. I did my best, and the new Switchblade SMG certainly helped out. And I don't actually have any specific footage of the attachments, but there was quite a lot of them, a, a plethora, if you will, of attachments for this gun, including two levels of rapid fire, so this thing is going to be spitting out bullets like there's no tomorrow. It's like I always say, when the gun's shooting that fast, it's like an explosion of bullets just going in every direction, but actually no, with this one, as you can see, I'm handling the recoil alright there, it's actually run out of ammo because I'm <laughs> putting that many bullets down range. Um, but yeah, this person was rocking a, an iron sight on it. Yeah, but there was quite a few attachments for it. No operator mod. Um, I don't believe, I, I didn't see one personally, they might add one, add in one later, uh, I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, no operator mod, which is a bit of a shame, I suppose, but the two levels of rapid fire, uh, will certainly keep things, uh, interesting. Uh, as you can see, this casino map is based around, uh, like a Formula 1 track, so there's Formula 1 cars all over the shop, there's, uh, lots of flanking lanes, actually, in this map, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a good... I'm a big fan of the old flanking manoeuvre, so uh, this map suited me down to my a T. Probably my favourite out of the two, actually, think about it. I think um, a lot of people will actually really enjoy playing this map. Uh, it's, you know, your, your three-lane map, but in the centre, it's uh, quite chaotic. There's, like, that sort of bar in the middle, um, which you can run around the, like, ring around the roses if you so wish, but uh, you can really uh, throw people off if you're smart with your movement, which... Uh, I think a lot of the fans of this channel will be because they see my amazing fast paced gameplay. No, I'm just kidding, but I think you will actually enjoy uh, this map. And thinking about it, this SMG is is your really rapid fire one, so it's going to be up against your, your Spitfire and SOG, which both of which actually are going to catch um, quite sort of beefy nerfs in this new update. So it'll be interesting to see how it competes uh, with those two, uh, because you know I'd say the the Spitfire and Sog have pretty much dominated the SMG category, uh, the SMG class. So it'll be nice to have another contender, another player in that weight division, <laughs> if you can call it that. Just uh, on the update in general, like I said earlier, I think uh, this huge uh, update and batch of content is exactly what the game needed because I'm a big fan of Black Ops 4, it's my favourite, uh, my most favourite Call of Duty in a while and it was a shame to see it starting to get a little stale because like I said I, I have, I've played it more than um, any of the other Call of Duties of the past few years at this stage in its lifetime and I'm just so happy to see it get some brand new content with guns and maps and uh, there's more um, coming I can't say right now. Uh, in terms of blackout anyway, there's definitely there's definitely a lot more uh, to come But yeah, it's just it's really refreshing to get to get some new things in the game 
because uh, I'm sure quite a lot of you have actually uh, felt the same, you know, just been been thirsty for some brand new uh, things to do in the game, some new things to unlock, some new things to grind for, because there is a, there's a lot of grinders out there, and they're very very dedicated uh, to their craft, very dedicated to uh, unlocking everything, to mastering everything. So aye, that's good to have. Uh, just also slightly off topic, which is it's not featured in this video, but of course Outrider from Black Ops 3 is back and she's coming back with her Sparrow Arrow <laughs> thing. It's uh, it's not quite as easy to use as it was in Black Ops 3. Well, it wasn't exactly easy to use, but it's it's slightly more difficult, I would say anyway, unless my, my aim is just absolutely terrible. Uh, but she also comes equipped uh, with a Hawk which is a little drone thing you can like fly about and plant above objectives for instance and anyone within your field of view like the camera's field of view pops up with a little red square that's only for you though it's not for your, your teammates but uh, i'm sure you'll uh, see some gameplay of that soon but back on to the gameplay at hand with the switchblade uh oh i had to be glimpse of the score there i must have been must have been nervous about how i was doing obviously trying to <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep up with the, the two guys in the other team because yeah, I mean I would probably sweat my pan in at this point sliding off my seat Treyarch are having to order in industrial amounts of deodorant to deal with the, the sweat I was producing in this game stinking out the studios probably never get invited back again in my life <laughs> but yeah at, at, at this point I definitely was try hard and there is no doubt about it there's no point there's no point acting as if you're not that's the thing See try hard, see sweats like you and me, you and me listening, I, I know you're a sweat at this game, right? There's no point hiding it, no point pretending like we're not that, and we just jumped into each other like belly slammed as if we've just scored a touchdown or something. Uh, <laughs> obviously I came off the worst of that, but yeah, there's no point pretending like you're not a sweat, and I can see this gun in particular uh, being very favourable uh, towards the sweaty type of players. Uh, I think that it goes for all the, the fast fire and SMGs, but like I said earlier, with the other two uh, SMGs, uh, the other two relevant SMGs catching a nerf, uh, Switchblade could be the new top dog, and I'm looking forward to using it even more actually, think about it, because I actually did have a lot of fun, uh, considering the, the challenge I was up against. And just quickly, at this point, I just want to say if you're new around here and interested in all things Call of Duty and all things Black Ops 4, do consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to join the notification squad like the two legends on your screen right now. We have a lovely community here of sweaty tryhards <laughs> and casual fun COD players and uh, we'd love to have you here so do consider hitting that subscribe button. But I think shortly we are going to be jumping over to the Rampage Shotgun as we uh, accept a heavy defeat there, Jesus. I get 30 kills and we still, still didn't <laughs> <laughs> do so good. Anyway, anyway, moving on. I'm over it now. This is the Rampage shotgun, which admittedly I didn't get that much footage of because we were stomped on even harder. But uh, as you can see, it is an automatic shotgun. That's not me uh, with a trigger finger. That's me holding that shit in and absolutely blasting it. Uh, yeah, that, that took me a while to get used to. Actually, I didn't. I didn't realise at first. It was a, an automatic shotgun. Here's a, a play of the game here by, it will be by Korean Savage or Dismo, just, you know, going to town on us, but you can really see the uh, effectiveness of the shotgun here. Um, is it breccia material? Not sure. It's early days yet. I mean, it's, it's, it's not even early days yet. It's not even out yet. It, that's like, <laughs> I don't even know what you call that type of days. Um, could see people getting a wee bit mad about this. This might catch a nerf at some point if people get too good at it, but for now anyway, uh, it was quite fun to use. Actually, I just want to mention again on this lockup map, uh, these doors are all, you can interact with them and open them and they are really good for flanking as well. I think this, this, these two maps in general have been built with um, flanking, flanking and manoeuvring uh, in mind. Jesus Christ, this is actually disgusting. Disgusting gameplay here, this will be, this will be again dismal. Um, just I mean, look at that. Don't know if it's get the range of the breccia exactly. That's what might keep it, you know. That's what make it might make it a bit more tame compared to the breccia. But what's what's being tame and it's still an absolute 
behemoth of a gun. But that's going to be all for this video, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed this early gameplay. I look forward to seeing you on the new update for Black Ops 4. Please do leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments what you think of the new update, the new guns, the new maps, the new specialist. And be sure to be on the lookout for more videos of the new update this week. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.